A major tectonic shift has been detected at Yellowstone supervolcano. Raven of Disclosed TV reports the supervolcano eruptions. Eruptions at the volcano in Hawaii meant that focus increased at Yellowstone and alarm bells were ringing. Volcano has sparked eruption fears due to the increased activity below and above the surface. 2018, we saw a major spike in the steamboat geyser eruptions. We saw bulging of the magma chamber, the uh, ground deforms, and we also have various uh, strange activities such as night floodlights uh, in order for the geologist to be keeping a close eye on the Norris geyser basin area and uh, for the past, past few days I think those cameras have the, white, the live web cameras have gone down I don't know if they're back up again they're supposed to be replaced by new cameras but uh, something strange is going on there's a, a wonderful analysis of the Yellowstone earthquakes done by Ben F. Sometimes I upload his uh, Creative Commons videos for you to watch. They're fantastic. Now, the small, multiple small earthquakes, the earthquake swarms are going on. There's a tremendous amount of activity on Yellowstone every single day, hundreds of quakes. The thing is that they're not all reported. They're recorded, but they're not reported. So multiple earthquake swarms and geyser eruptions are sparking fears. Geologists have claimed that the weak point of Yellowstone are the geyser, the Norris Geyser Basin, because that's where they have so many earthquakes. Um, and that could spark an eruption. Now, the earthquakes of and the activity of Yellowstone, which is a supervolcano, are not at all the same of the, the activity and what goes on a, on a smaller scale, regular volcano. Now, there have been multiple earthquakes at Yellowstone National Park along with another eruption of dormant geyser and uh, this has led the, the uh, steamboat geyser and led scientists to speculate that the largest supervolcano in the world, we're talking about Yellowstone in this case, the Yellowstone volcano could be about to erupt in Yellowstone volcano sitting on the Pacific Ring of Fire. Yes, it is on the Pacific Ring of Fire. That's what geologists claim. And uh, whether you accept this or not, that's what they claim. And this is what was behind the volcanic activity and earthquake along the Pacific Ocean, the most recent, including, of course, as we know, the hotspot of Hawaii and Kilauea. And we even have the Indonesia, Mount Agung, and other volcanoes. You'll see in my previous posts. The, the geyser at Yellowstone, steamboat geyser, has been dormant since 2014 and suddenly March last year it erupted and in April and in May again and we've had earthquake swarms 200 over a two-week period at Yellowstone and over the two-week period more than 200 quakes hit Yellowstone and this told scientists that a huge tectonic plate shift had taken place underneath the surface of the earth. 200 small quakes in over two weeks and it was said that two of the three warning signs that there was going to be an imminent eruption causing panic when visitors were at the site warning signs included seismic activity increasing an increase of gas the volcanic gases the uh, co2s and others at the surface but that's also besides the fact that the ground has been deforming so it's the earthquake swarms, it's the increase in volcanic gases and the uplift of the ground deformation. While there's not been any sign of ground deforming during 2008, there's been an increase in gas outlet seismic activity, both under and above ground surface, and many people have started to get nervous. Seismologists said that if there were an eruption at Yellowstone, there would be a mass destruction. But experts working at the National Earthquake Information Center played down these fears. U.S. Geology Survey, Geological Survey, USGS seismologist Harley Benz is among those monitoring the site, and he says that locals in the region would have lots of warning, and it might be weeks or months before the volcano erupted. 
it was said that the volcano would get more intense in regards to seismic activity so people would know a long time beforehand. The increase in activity sparks fears of the chain of 13 volcanoes over 100, uh, 800 miles on the west coast. We're talking about California. And let's not forget, near the Yellowstone, we also have uh, just west of that, the Long Valley Caldera, which is another supervolcano. And not far from Yellowstone, 500 miles directly south, is the Vallis Caldera, which is another smaller supervolcano. Liz Westby, the geologist at, US, at USGS, Cascades Volcano Observatory, said that if Yellowstone erupted, it could cause mass destruction. Uh, we heard uh, scientists, head scientists, USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory in Washington, Michael Poland, said that there was not going to be a major earthquake. He said the people were focusing on the chance of a big eruption. When one does happen, it shakes the region severely and people should be prepared for that happening. If the Yellowstone volcano erupts, the consequences would see ash that would devastate most of the United States. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenge families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.